What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today we got a new trailer for Call of Duty Ghosts regarding the clan integration into the game. And they've added in quite a few new features that are actually pretty cool, and, and I'm kind of excited about. So I wanted to show it to you guys, I'll let the trailer play through once, and, and then I'll catch you guys after the trailer's over, and we will go through some of the smaller things that you may have missed. So, uh, here we go. Clans are an integral part of the Call of Duty Ghosts multiplayer experience. Join, create, or re-register your clan for Call of Duty Ghosts so you don't miss out on any of the action. Joining a clan allows you to earn unique rewards and clan XP. An experience clan versus clan playlist where you can go head to head against other clans in a variety of game modes. For the first time ever, your clan experience goes cross-platform. So you can be part of the same clan as your friends, regardless of which platform you play on. You can join and manage your clan in-game, but the real centerpiece of the clan experience is the brand new Call of Duty app. From the app, you can manage your clan, view stats, edit your clan emblems, chat with your clan, and send rally up messages to tell them that you're ready to play. And if you're not already in a clan, we'll recommend one for you. The biggest addition this year is the introduction of Call of Duty Clan Wars. A brand new experience where you and your clan will face off against other clans to secure and hold key locations on a map. Battling to win in-game XP bonuses and exclusive items. So grab your friends, join a clan, and be part of the best Call of Duty Clans experience yet. All right, so there you guys have it. There's some new features coming to the clans mode in Call of Duty Ghosts that, that sound pretty interesting. I'm actually pretty excited about it. So you can sign up for a clan, you know, if you want to join up with some friends or if you just want to join a random open one if you don't have any friends that you want to do it with. And, and yeah, you can grind it out with your clan. You can earn exclusive in-game things like the backgrounds, as you can see on screen right here. And I'm sure there's going to be a whole bunch of other stuff. And, and you kind of rank up your clan and go through the ranks. It's just, you know, it's another way to progress through the game just like you can progress through the game trying to get to the max prestige, you know, whatever else it is. So... It, it's pretty cool. Now there are a couple of new playlists involving clans this year that that sound pretty exciting So the first one is the clan versus clan playlist and as you can see right here It's described as a party of four members from one clan compete against a party of four members from an opposing clan Now this is infinity wards response to league play It's what they've added in to kind of simulate what league play stood for to be a, a little bit more competitive playlist for, for people that take the game a little bit more seriously and want some more competition than you just get in regular public matches. Now, I believe I saw an article a long time ago that, that said that this is also how they're going to qualify teams for the 2014 championship, the Call of Duty championship, you know, the big million dollar tournament. So uh, that's going to be pretty cool. If you guys are interested in trying to get into that, this is going to be your ticket into it. And, and yeah, it should be pretty good. One thing I would like to see is a little bit of variation in this playlist. You know, it says it's going to be 4v4, but I would love to see some maybe 2v2s, some 1v1s, ones, maybe some 6v6s, you know, different things like that, but uh, we'll have to wait and see if they add that in. Now, the second new kind of game mode or game type they've added in for clans is, is a really exciting one, and this one is called Clan Wars. So, on this game mode, you and a couple of other clans are kind of like on a little map or a little world, and there's a bunch of different places you can fight over in that world, and you know, if you win that fight in that area, whether it be a TDM or a Domination or, you know, whatever it be, then, then you control that territory, and the more territories you control, then the more points you earn and then at the end of the time period which as you can see down the bottom right here it says it's like 12 days I think they said the reveal it's gonna update every two weeks but at the end of that time period the team with the most points wins and you know you can win prizes I'm sure there's you know different in-game things and bonus XP and things like that so it's pretty cool and as you can see from this map right here there's a bunch of different things you can fight over like it looks like there's an oil rig an airport a movie studio a harbor a laboratory a nuclear power plant you know things like that so you're just you know you're fighting against other clans to try to control territories, take over their territories, uh, defend your territories, 
and, and own as many territories as possible. So it's pretty cool. I'm excited about this mode. I think it's going to be really, really nice to, um, to, you know, have a bunch of different game modes, you know, TDM, Search and Destroy, whatever it be, but have them all linked together. And you really you need to win all of these things to control as many territories as possible. I think it's going to be good. I cannot wait for it. And I can't wait to post videos for you guys. Now, uh, one thing I want to point out that I almost missed in the trailer is check out this screenshot right here. So it looks like this guy's clan is in third place in this, you know, Territory Clan Wars mode. And, and they've got three territories with 54 CP. And as you see their active in-game bonuses, it says he has plus 20% XP in Dom, plus 20% XP in Kill Confirmed, and plus 10% XP in TDM. That's crazy, and I'm wondering if those things carry over into the regular multiplayer. Like, are those only available when you're playing Clan Wars? Or, you know, since this guy owns a bunch of territories, every time he hops into a domination game in multiplayer, he's going to get an extra 20% XP. I think that is pretty freaking awesome, and, and hopefully that's the case, because that would really give you an incentive, you know, not only to earn in-game titles and emblems and things like that, but, but also to earn, you know, extra XP bonuses to help you rank up faster. So, uh, I think that's pretty cool, and I can't wait to check it out. Now, uh, finally, we had a couple of random things that we saw throughout the trailer that I want to point out to you guys. We got to see the VKS sniper scope right here, which is a sniper we haven't really seen much of yet, so you get to see the scope. It's got a weird little, like, thing sticking off the side at the top left. I'm not sure what that thing does or if it's just visual, but, uh, yeah, that's a weird-looking thing up there. Uh, we also saw what I think is some chopper gunner gameplay right here and then also some heli sniper gameplay, which is the helicopter that you get to go up and fly around while you're sniping people on the ground, which is pretty cool. And, and then finally... I think we got some new information about the emblem editor. So everybody's been wondering if there's going to be an emblem editor like there was in Black Ops 2 in Call of Duty Ghosts, and I don't think there's going to be one. Now, it did say that they're going to have one for your clan emblems that you can edit, and as you can see, he's going through it right now. But but as you can see, one of the rewards for playing in the clans and, you know, ranking up your clans, as you can see up in the top right there, it looks like those are pre-made emblems. So I believe that the emblems in Call of Duty Ghosts are going to be just like they were in Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 and things like that, you know, you're going to have to complete operations, you know, whatever it is, to unlock those emblems, and, and then you can use them. I don't think there's going to be a custom emblem editor for uh, for multiplayer like there was in Black Ops 2, which is kind of unfortunate. That's going to be missed. I mean, I, I probably saw more than enough dicks and animal porn in Black Ops 2 to last me a lifetime, but at the same time, there are also some really, really cool emblems that, uh, that some pretty talented artists made. So, I don't know. That'll be missed. It's okay, though. It's just a cosmetic thing. We'll all get over it. So, uh, there there you guys have it. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think about clans in Call of Duty Ghosts. Are you going to use them? Are you, you know, excited about it? Are you not excited? Are you just going to play multiplayer and not worry about it? Let me know what you think. Check out one of the other two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet. Thanks for watching, guys. A bunch of great videos coming soon. Peace out.